everybody, Joe Lowry. What a day. Happy Wednesday out there. Hump day. And you know, as I like to call it, the week's middle finger. You know, we're halfway there. And you know, we're just 24 hours separated from this uh, blizzard 2017, also known as the storm Stella. And to me, Stella turned out to be quite a dud. You know, a week ago, we're going to count on getting feet or not inches of snow. But within the next 24 hours, boom, we are lucky enough to even get a half a foot of snow, never mind six inches. You know, the weathermen, they have the success rate of like 60% and so forth. And you got to love a job where it's okay to just give 60% and you get a success rate and still keep your jobs, you know. I know it's New England and things change, but God, if I was like a gynecologist and you came to see me and I was like, well, you may be pregnant, you might be pregnant, I'm not sure yet. Check back with me in nine months. That's how it seems to be, you know. You got to love these guys. And, you know, I know it's the, you know, the 21st century and so forth, but we got these GFS models, these Euro models. You know, how about take a look outside the window and tell us what the weather is kind of models. I mean, for God's sakes, people. You know, things change, but after all these years, you think the intangibles and all the stuff and the weather systems and all these computer gadgets they have can predict this stuff, you know. And I heard they're planning another one this weekend, another storm. I don't know. I heard it might go out to sea. It might not go out to sea. But guess what? We'll just have to wait and see. I mean, my goodness. That deserves a what a day, I tell you. Well, turning things over to the New England Patriots, I'm telling you, I think they're putting the league on notice. It's time. They are stocking up. They're ready to run the table. Bill Belichick holding no punches, signing, re-signing today Dante Hightower to a four-year, $43.5 million contract. This has all the recipes for another season for Bill Belichick, Super Bowl, perhaps even the big U word. I'm talking undefeated. They are really stacking. And I tell you right now, personally, if they do sign Malcolm Butler, this team has a very good chance at running the table. Red Sox are over there, 19 days out till opening day at Fenway Park, and you got to wonder if Fenway Park will be thawed out in time. They did announce today that Rick Porcello is their opening day starter. And every time I talk about Red Sox opening day, that just means that WrestleMania now is just 18 days away. The showcase of the Immortals is starting to take shape. Some of the big matches confirmed so far. On the Raw side of things, we got Roman Reigns versus The Undertaker. Goldberg versus Lesnar for the Universal title. U.S. Championship match, Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens. And then we have the triple threat, Bailey, uh, Sasha Banks, and Charlotte Flair women's title match. And on Team Blue, SmackDown Live, you got Bray Wyatt defending his title against Randy Orton, the Viper. And then this one announced last night, The Miz and Maurice will take on John Cena and Nikki Bella in a mixed tag match. Of course, Baron Corbin and Dean Ambrose will uh, hopefully finish their storyline at WrestleMania. And this one's intriguing enough. Alexa Bliss, SmackDown Live Women Champion, she's taking on all women in that division. This can play out to be very, very interesting. They might see some new names come into this uh, soiree. Of course, you will have a very WrestleMania, a very special WrestleMania pre-show and analysis coming up. All the predictions right before WrestleMania. And what do you think? You think Donald Trump leaked his own tax returns? I have no idea what's going on with that. I don't want to touch that one just yet. I do know he's paid a lot of taxes over the years. Of course, he's made a lot of money. But until I know the facts, I'm not going to report on it. How about that? Special shout out. Good friend Patrick Glidden. He went in the knife today. His wife did tweet out on Facebook that he's doing okay. Patrick, we love you. Wishing a speedy and healthy recovery to you. And don't forget this past weekend with all this hubbub going on. Spring forward with the clocks. You know, I don't know what this whole thing is about springing forward. This daylight saving times. I hate to tell you, but I've been around since 1969 and my body still doesn't get used to it. Why do we have it? I've read all sorts of literature on this. It's due to war times, Roman times, farming times. I'm telling you right now, it has nothing to do with daylight saving times anymore. I think they just, just get rid of it. I know they revamped it back in 07. They revamped it in the 90s and so forth. But, you know, enough is enough already. Let's just let it be. Let's just have the sunrise and sunset like it normally does all the time. You know, don't forget to visit my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash Joe Lowry. What a day. I am still seeking a lot more, and I mean it, folks, a lot more subscribers. It's free. It's free. It's free. I can't tell you that enough. You got to you gotta subscribe, tell your friends, scream, shout. I'm begging, folks. And I told you, when I do hit 1,000 subscribers, even though it's not the amount I'm looking for, I'm looking for far more than that. When I do hit 1,000 subscribers, I will announce everybody's name who has subscribed. So if you want to hear your names, just like, what's her name? Hmm. Oh, she was just at my house. Not Poo Poo Joey Anya, but what about... Ava. Ava's a subscriber. That's right. That's YouTube. I'm Joe Lowry. Happy hump day. Happy Wednesday. What a day.